The firehouse of the 1800s became the social meeting place for the community. The firehouse hosted holiday parties, the annual fireman's ball, and dances throughout the year. These events were generally for the firemen and their guests, which more often than not, included many members of the local community. It was common to remove the engines from the firehouse bays, leaving a large space perfect for a dance or a party. Because of this, the firehouse bays were often highly decorated and lavish spaces. During the 1800s, fire departments began to send out formal invitations to their functions. The invitations themselves could be very ornate and sought to mirror the niceties in European society at the time. Firemen from other cities were to spend the weekend in the host town, touring the firehouse and enjoying the local sights. This is yet another reason why firehouses were so grand, because every fire company wanted to outshine the others in their neighborhood and beyond. Visiting firefighters were entertained by their hosts with dinners, welcome receptions, and parades. Often, there were contests to see which firehouse, the hosting or the visiting, could pump the highest stream of water or lay hose the fastest. The winning fire company would receive a trophy for display in their own firehouse. Frequently, other gifts were exchanged, such as speaking trumpets, silver tea and coffee sets, or framed commemorative pieces such as helmet shields, embroidery, or wooden carvings. The Fasni Museum of Firefighting collection includes even more unusual gifts, such as a stuffed owl in a glass case, an impossible bottle, and a set of cow horns all given to commemorate a visit or a win in a competition. Upon returning to their hometown, it was customary for a fire company to send their host company a thank you card. These often took the form of a certificate, specially designed and decorated and presented in ornate frames. The visits, while grand in nature, served to strengthen the bonds between the firemen and help them band together when they needed to make a unified stand on matters that affected them. Thank you.